hello everyone welcome to my channel uh, so today I wanted to do a giant adult coloring book haul video um, this will be my first coloring book haul video on my channel so um, yeah these were all accumulated um, I want to say from December until now so like end of February 2022 so yeah, let's just jump into it. Um, I figured I would start with um, Anastasia Ellie Koldareva. Um, you guys may have seen this artist's work before, but I mean, she is super talented. These came all the way from, uh, was it Russia? I don't know. I can't remember exactly where these came from, but I mean, these books are stunning. It was well worth the wait. And I have, I think, three other ones on the way. Um, these do take a while to get here, but of course I'm in the U S so, you know, um, but yeah, I cannot wait. None of these, I don't think, uh, there might be a few colored images in some of my books here, but I'm not going to do a full flip through of all of these because we'll be here forever, but I'll just show you some of the images. And I think she is one of my favorite artists. I mean, look at this, the detail there's, um, some grayscale in here to kind of help you with shading oh my god these are just it's so intricate let me just show you close up real quick so pretty so that one is called mermaid legend mermaid legends and if you just type her name in um on google you'll be able to find all her coloring books um so now we have amarantine this is stunning i love the cover of this again i'll just show you a quick flip through. Of course, if you want to see any of these more in depth for a full flip through video, I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, but yeah, these are just some of the images. I fell in love when I saw these on YouTube and I knew they had to be mine. I mean, it's just stunning. She's got very realistic portraits and I love how they're all, well, at least in this book, like in this circle like that, just to kind of frame it. Oh, I just love it. They're so pretty. And then we have when dragons dream so i'm not typically into dragons like at all or at least i never used to be until um I, it was actually until i saw this book and i was like all right how fun would it be to just add whatever colors you want on a dragon and just make it unique and now i love them because these dragons are like nice and they're not evil looking <laughs> although i do have a coloring book in here that's uh it's a dragon coloring book, and you'll see. I like dragons now. What can I say? All right, so these two are from Color It, and I saw uh, Colorfully Optimistic do a flip through of one of their Mandela coloring books, and she's done a couple other flip throughs. So, um, you know, once I saw that she really liked the quality of these, I was like, yep, these have to be mine. And again, I was never into Mandela's ever. Um, I did have a, I remember I had a Mandela coloring book when I was younger. I may have colored a couple images in it, but I was never really into them. And first of all, let me just show you the size of these books because I had no idea they were this big. What can I compare it to? I'll compare it to, let's just compare it to this real quick. <laughs> so this is like a regular standard size coloring book and it, I mean, it's giant. It's almost the same size as a regular size coloring book. And it's thick look how thick it is it's so good these were 20 bucks so worth it but yeah this is volume oh my god don't make fun of me what is that roman numeral i don't know is that five <laughs> is that six i don't know but yeah super thick paper it's this is your blotter page right here that you can just tear out and put behind whatever image that you're gonna do they have a ton of other books. Uh, you can go check them out for sure. Coloring book number 38. There you go. We'll go by that. <laughs> number 38. But yeah, just go on their website and you'll be able to see all of them. But uh, the paper is just so smooth. It's thick. And some of the images here. I'm going to stand up and make sure I'm even showing these right. I mean, this. I just love it. I just love it. There's another one. That I really love. I want to get to this book ASAP. And it's just the quality is so good. Can you hear it? Let me just do a little flick test. Like this paper's thick. 
So yeah, I got this one. I cannot wait to work in that. Um, another one from Color It. Same thing. It was 20 bucks. Huge. I mean, these things are giant. You get 50 original hand-drawn designs. So, yeah. Illustrated by Turbit Basuki and edited by Eliza Callahan. Sorry, which one was this? Who illustrated this? Was it Turbit Bas Basuki? Okay. So, another one. Oh, I think I like this one better, honestly. I fall for the more, like, intricate... Oh, sorry. Don't mean to shake it. The more intricate mandalas. Um, so, yeah. I am totally new to mandalas, but I'm obsessed. I'm actually working on an animal one right now. Um, I could show you the book, actually, because that was part of this haul, and I forgot to put it in here. But, um, I mean, this haul video is going to be a couple parts anyway. But, yeah, I'm obsessed. So, another mandala book I got... Um, Camellia Angelkova. So, you know what? This one, I have to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of. I don't know. It's just too... Well, this one's okay. I don't know. I, they're just not my vibe. This one I like. There is a lot of white space at the bottom of these images, which I don't... You know, it's whatever. It's not that big of a deal, but it's just... It's not the same quality as these color it ones, and that's what I want. I want the really nice quality and just... Beautiful paper, which I knew I wasn't going to get with, like, you know, uh, Camellia Angelkova's books. But I've realized that they're just funner to color on. I mean, this will still, I'm still going to work in it, but the mandalas are just not my favorite. I will definitely be reaching for this more often than that. I can tell you that right now. Okay, so this one, um, Astrolandia by Lenka Filino... Filonenko? Um, so I printed the, uh, digital PDF version, version of this book on Etsy and, and I just got it spiral bound. Um, so yeah, this book is really cool. I had never heard of this artist before. Um, I can't remember who I saw do a flip through of one of her books, but yeah, it's called Astrolandia and I mean, her images are just really unique. And if you like Zodiac signs and if you're into astrology and all that, this book is for you um so yeah i'll do a quick quick flip through of this but it's got all the zodiac signs sagittarius that's me um so she's got information of each sign in the back um so i think they come in two different languages is that right yeah so she's got english right here and then um what language is this somebody tell me i don't know but she's got that other language up top English down here, and she's got her native language up there, which I think is really cool, having two different languages in there. Um, so yeah, this, you can get the, uh, her, like, the regular coloring book from her, but the shipping prices were just astronomical to get here from, to the U.S. from where she lives, so I just printed it, uh, the Etsy PDF, and I may end up getting some more of her books because I really like the artwork. I mean, it's just unique, very unique, and they're not too detailed. Like, I feel like I could knock this out, like, within a few days, you know, these kind of images, and I did print it on some cardstock, 110-pound paper, so it's good quality paper. I'll show you up close one of these images here. This is Leo. I mean, how pretty is it? I like it. Super pretty. So, yeah, that's Astrolandia by Lenka. I'm not going to say her last name because I'm going to butcher it again. Um, but yeah, definitely check her out on Etsy because she's got a couple other books. This is not her only one. And if you like this, definitely check her out. Okay. So, my giant stack of Linda Ravenscroft. Um, yeah, I, I'll be honest with you. I was not a fan of her artwork when I first saw it. Um, I don't, I couldn't tell you why. I don't know why. <laughs> I just wasn't a fan. And then, I, of course, I kept looking back at certain flip-throughs, and I was like, something clicked, and all of a sudden I love them. You know what? I think I know what it was, actually. I was never really a fan of, like, fairies, fairy art, and these ears. I don't know why. Fairy ears just turned me off, but I've grown to love them. So this is Linda Ravenscroft's Naughty Fairies, book one. Uh, so this is a whole separate series that she's going to be having out, um, I'm assuming since this is book one, 
But yeah, I mean, she's got some stunning images in here. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this already, but it comes on super good quality paper. I mean, let's do, I'm sure you can hear that, super thick, watercolor, anything you can use on this paper, and it'll do just fine. But yeah, the images in here, I mean, they're just super unique. I love this one. Anything with the wolf in it, you know, that's totally me. This is a perfect one for Halloween. I love the shadows of the wolves in the back. Um, super dark, heavy on grayscale. So uh, I don't know how well colored pencils would work in here on their own. Um, that's typically what I use. So yeah, I'm going to have to brush up on my watercolor skills. Um, but yeah, they're stunning. And honestly, they're not that bad of a price. Um, considering the quality that you get. So that was Naughty Fairies Book 1 by Linda Ravenscroft, and then I also got her Zodiac uh, coloring book, which I haven't even seen any flip-throughs of on YouTube. I could be wrong, but I don't ever see anyone talking about this one. Usually people talk about, like these, her fairy and fantasy art books. But yeah, this is the Zodiac one, so I'll do a really quick flip-through of it. I mean, there's Sagittarius, that's my sign. I'm just into the Zodiacs, and these seem easier to tackle to me than, you know, a, like a super detailed page of hers. And there's a little bit less, you know, like dark grayscale. I feel like I could, I could get away with using just pencil in here. So yeah, that is her uh, Zodiac book and I love it. So as you can see, I got books one through, what is it? Books one through seven and she does sign all of them, which I appreciate i love that um these took a little while to get to me but again i live in the u.s she lives in the uk i believe so yeah it took a little bit but that's not a huge deal um so yeah this is book one by her and i mean ooh, look how detailed this is but it's so pretty so pretty i mean she's just so talented and all of these images have original artwork by her that you can look up if you want to, you know, be inspired by her original copy. So yeah, that's just a quick flip through of book one by her, the Fairy and Fantasy art series. And then book two, um, I really like this cover and the colors on it. It's super pretty. I don't know how much I live for this page, but it's there. <laughs> the up to no good fairy. She's super cute. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. So yeah, I knew once I... Oh, I love these two. I think Zucchini Kitty may have gotten me into Linda Ravenscroft. I just... The way she does her images are stunning, and she makes it look so easy. And she uses a lot of distressed ink on her images for Linda's books, which I feel like I can do. So <laughs> yeah, they're not as intimidating once I see Zucchini Kitty do it. <laughs> okay, so this is book three and I'll just do a quick flip through. Oh, I love these. Just, they're so pretty and simple, but yet not simple at the same time. So I'm so excited to color in them. It's crazy how, like, last year you would have never caught me buying these books because I'm just, I wasn't that much into fairies, but psych, here we are. Now I love them. Okay, now this is book four. We'll just do a quick flip through of this. I love her. She's got such a pretty face. And a really nice, like, watercolor looking background. You can do so much with her books. And they're just such good quality. I love this one the gray lady so yeah that is book four that I got um, by the way these were not all purchased like in one go which I wish I sh would have done because you're gonna pay shipping twice if you you know do separate orders but you know it is what it is so this is book five I think book five and book six are my favorites first of all I love this cover it's, I think I don't know which one is my favorite. It's between these two covers that I just love. And also the images 
are more my preference in book five and six. Oh, I love this. I mean, they're just so detailed and pretty. Just imagine what they'll look like when they're done and you can totally hang these up or just leave it in the book, you know, whichever. But they are worth admiring, so I think one of these I'll definitely end up hanging up in, in my house somewhere once I'm done with it. Okay, so that's book five. Book five by Linda Ravenscroft. Then we have book six that I got. Love her. The Field Poppy Fairy. The Windy Day. A Bad Hair Day. And she's got snails in her hair. <laughs> A cute one. Here's a dragon. I love this. It's one of my favorite images. I like the mushrooms down there too. I mean, just look how detailed it is. That one's called Homecoming. So, yeah. Giant. This isn't even close to being all the books I got. So, stay tuned if you want to see my huge book haul. But, what book was this? Book seven. That's pretty. I really like the way she does wings. The Queen of Summer. So yeah, after I watched like 400 million flip throughs of these, I finally, for whatever reason, started falling in love. Ooh, this is one of my favorites right here. I mean, they're just so pretty and clear. Like, I don't know. They just look very realistic which I love. So yeah. Oh, I love her too. Chalk Hill Blue. So yeah, those are the Linda Ravenscroft books that I bought. And then next I got this garden coloring book off of Etsy. Um, again, I haven't seen many flip throughs of this book either. There is uh, maybe one or two. Um, I couldn't tell you who it's even by, but, um, if you just type in garden coloring book on Etsy, this one should pop up. And I think I got this from cool craft books, if I'm not mistaken on Etsy. Um, so this came from far away as well. The shipping was kind of high to get it, but I did, uh, combine it with some other books that I wanted to get from cool craft books too. So this is one of them. And I don't have the other books that I got from her in this haul. It's going to be a separate video, but yeah, garden coloring book. It's really cute. Wait, let me see if the artist is in here somewhere. Mm, I feel bad not putting, like being able to say who it was by. Um, because I definitely cannot read that language. Well, who is this by? I'm not too sure, but this is the cover. It says Mook on the bottom, and you know what I just realized? This book does not look completely new, like I thought I bought it for. Like, this edge is a little bit crumpled. There's also a price tag for $12.99 back here, which I never even noticed <laughs> until just now. And I definitely paid more than $12.99 for that. So be careful when you're buying these books from, you know, if you live wherever, if you're buying a book from far away overseas, just be careful that you're not overpaying because that can definitely happen. I did not pay $12.99 for this. I don't even know what I paid. Uh, maybe it was around 30 bucks. So yeah, but the images are really pretty in here. If you like florals and just like nature images, um, you'll probably end up liking this book. It, it This kind of reminds me of... Mm, kind of like Kanoko Agusa's writing... Or not writing style, but like line work. How it's very fine and just delicate. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that. Not as detailed as Kanoko's work, um, but... The line art, how it's kind of thin, it just reminds me of uh, those books from Kanoko. So yeah, this one's pretty. Garden coloring book. I wish I could tell you who it was by. I'm sorry that I can't. Yeah, I don't think this book is like 
brand new the way I thought I bought it from Etsy. There's just a little scuffs, which I don't know if I did that. But just, yeah, I don't know. $12.99, definitely didn't pay that. So there's that. Okay, Dragonology. Um, this book, I don't remember who I saw flip through doing this. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm into dragons now. And I thought this book was really cool. Like this sargasso dragon i would love to color one of these dragons one day and with dragons you can just make them whatever color you want and i like how there's a little description of what the dragon is supposed to be on the other side um so yeah this is a really fun book too i can't wait to color in it marsupial dragon with a little baby Ooh, this one's pretty american amph amphitheater I don't know, Mexican amph there. So yeah, that is that one. Now who's this by? The Templar Company. Okay, Dr. Ernest Drake. That's who it's by, Dragonology. So yeah, um, shading. They even talk about shading and different mediums and textures that you can do as far as like cross-hatching, stippling. Oh, that's practical tips. Shown in the techniques illustrated, yeah. So they're just talking about the way that the artist, you know, illustrated some of these images and how you can emulate that as well. So yeah, that's Dragonology. I really like that book and I can't wait to color in it. Um, so Enchanted Fairies by Josephine Wall. Um, again, I have no idea who I saw talk about this book, but after I saw, um, oh, you know what? I remember seeing this very similar artwork um and I was like where have I seen this before so I ended up looking up Josephine Wall and she also did tarot or oracle cards which I have by her <laughs> so that was weird because I knew I saw this style of art somewhere and I'm like I this looks so familiar but she's got such a unique very very super colorful and detailed art I mean it's just stunning so this book is very intricate uh the line work is like a light gray but i mean can you even see like these little things how does one color in those little tiny dots i don't know but just seeing her artwork i mean it's just so pretty and intricate and fine i mean this book just screams colors to me like i want to color one of these a similar way that she does her artwork um, I mean, if you guys haven't seen it, you should definitely look it up. It's so pretty and it's just magical. It's just magical. Oh my God. Like, look how intricate that is. That is super intricate and so pretty. I can't wait to color in this one as well. So yeah, this one is by Josephine Wall. And like I said, if you have not seen her artwork before, like her original paintings, you need to because it's so amazing and it's just inspiring okay so I also have Luna by Maria Trolle and I when I first started seeing Maria Trolle's books I don't know why I was never into them um but of course here we are now I am so this is Luna by her and it's so cute it's just I love the images in here they're not too super complicated like I feel like I can knock one of these out in a few days I am working on this one right now. <clears throat> um, yeah, obviously not done with it yet, but it's super fun. And I do want to do this one to kind of go with the theme of this, but it's the images are just small enough where they feel like they're not overwhelming. Like this seems easy enough for me to tackle and not be overwhelmed by a lot of detail. And even the detailed ones are just so cute and pretty that they... I don't know, like her books are inviting to me, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't feel scared to color in them. <laughs> like, this is detailed, but it feels doable, you know? Um, so, yeah, she is also becoming one of my favorite artists. I don't know why I was hesitant to get her books before, but now I'm obsessed, and she's probably one of my favorites. So, yeah, that's Luna by Maria Trolle. And then another book by Maria Trolle, Drum Reyes. Reyes? This is a really pretty cover, and it feels heavier. Is there more images in here than Luna? It feels a lot heavier than Luna. There might be more. I don't know, but it's super pretty. I haven't started anything in this one yet. 
um, but it's so cute. I mean, she's got such a unique style. Just like the little girl that she draws and like these little characters. It's just adorable. So I had to get it. And by the way, um, so let's see, Luna, my Enchanted Fairies book, and the Dragonology book. If I can find coloring books that are used in good condition or just new, uh, but, you know, th like they're at a consignment store. Like I buy a lot of coloring books from abooks.com and sometimes they're used, but they, like this one. I'll just show you real quick so you're not, so you just have a resource of buying books for possibly cheaper. Like this one, um, I mean, nothing was colored in it. It's in good shape. It's in good shape. But as you can see, there was a sticker on it. Like it was, I bought it from Abe Books and it was cheaper just because, you know, somebody previously had it and donated it. So I do a lot of that. Like with Dragonology, I got this one used as well. But I mean, it's, it looks new. Like there's no, no images colored in it. It's not bent. And it's cheaper to do it that way. So check out A Books. Um, what's another one? World of Books usually has discounted books. eBay. You can find also Maria Trolley books from Walmart. I don't know. Like this one's not on Walmart, but a lot of them are. So you might be able to get them a little cheaper on Walmart. Uh, but of course, Amazon has them too. But I did buy Luna from A Books used, and it was cheaper. And like I, I mean, it looks brand new. There's nothing... It looks brand new. There's nothing wrong with it. So definitely check that out. Anyway, Drew Reyes. I mean, this book is so freaking cute. I can't wait to color it. And I like these little... I usually don't like these, like, doodle random things in more... Well, this isn't realistic. I don't know how to explain it. Like how Kirby does with his books. Like, in a more realistic image, he has a ton of these little doodle doodly things. I don't like that but hers i don't know for some reason like she doesn't overdo it with these things it's not overdone they're just cute and they're there and i like them <laughs> so yeah she's got some really stunning artwork i just love it they're just cutesy they make me feel good when i look through these books so yeah guys that is everything that i got for my book haul um well it's not everything but it's everything for this video so if you are interested in staying tuned for my part two and possibly a part three for my adult coloring book haul, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm always, you know, happy to hear any comments from you guys. Um, so yeah, let me know if you would like to see a full flip through of any of these books. I'd be more than happy to do it. Um, so yeah, take care, everybody. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.